friends welcome to smart tech guy and today we will make a chat app in mit app inventor so the first step that i'll do is change the title name to chat app or you can also give chatting app i am giving here chatting app and now i will select the type as device default so that the things become a bit uh, larger and there must be some uh, three dots for closing the application and knowing about it so now i will put here a horizontal arrangement and in that the height i will put as 10% and the width as always fill parent because we want the thing to spread over whole uh, horizontally so now i will put first a text in this text box we will write our uh, name means uh, to whom we are chatting that person should know my name and in that i will put another um, element that is a button and that button i will rename it as uh, something you can give as save so that the number that you have given uh, number not the name that you have given it can be saved I will select the font size as uh, 20 you can give as your choice and in that I will give as the background color I will give it as uh, red you can give as your choice now I will copy that and paste the same thing but in the place of the save button I will rename it as send means what the message we are typing it should be sent and in that the color I will choose as blue because red is uh, red combinations is with blue so I will rename the send button as send button and the text box I will rename it as the message text box means the message we are typing it should be this uh, we should type it here and in the first button i will uh, rename it as save button you can also give as name button but i will give you a save button uh, save button oh i have uh, i have made a mistake in the button i will give it as save button not text box save b button okay and in the text box i will give it as name text box you can uh, give uh, any name of your choice you can give as uh, anything you can give and in the screen when i will select the alignment as center so that the button is in the center and in that i will rename it as the delete message you can give delete also i will write a delete message and by clicking this button uh, you should know uh, probably by the name only it will delete the uh, message that we have entered just now so now we'll make the font as bold and i will select the background color as yellow because we have gave two dark shades so i will take here yellow and the font size i will give as 25 percent you can give as your wish and now we'll put a list view now this is a part where we would uh, view the messages that is sent by us and the uh, person who is sending uh, means opposite and in the background color i will select it as green you can give the color as your choice and now uh, i will put a cloud db so that the message can be viewed on the another person's screen and by this your designing of the chat app is ready so the next thing that we will do is do the coding coding of the app so in the first i will put a variable initialize global variable and i will keep the name as name only because we will uh, in this variable the name that we are typing should be stored and first when the we will enter the app the variable should be set to blank but because there should not be anything displayed and uh, when we type our name it should be stored in the cloud db so that when we initialize the screen again and again we would see that i will give another variable as message and that also to uh, blank and now the third variable i will name it as chat 
means that uh, we are typing will be saved there and in that I will put a create empty list means all the chat should be stored in an empty list and now I will align it and now I will put a uh, when save button dot click when save button dot click set global name uh, we will set it to the text box means what we will type in the text box that name should be saved to the variable that we have made that is the name so that we don't have to type the name again and again global name to name text box red txt this is the text box of the name and now in the send button when send button dot click we will uh, set the global message to the message text box that we have renamed I will copy the first and paste it over here and I will select it as message text box now I will select the cloud DB and in that call cloud DB dot append a value to the list and the uh, tag item to add and in that the tag I will put it as chat uh, I will put the tag and in the tag you can put the name uh, you like like you can put chatting chat message anything you like I am typing here chat and this uh, tag uh, will be playing a role in later of the uh, coding of the app so you should remember the video uh, tag that you are typing in that the item to add I will put a join and in that in the settings small settings button you can see that you will click and put another string so that three things are joined in one single item in the first blank I will give at a uh, name and the last I will give a message and in the between I will give it as a colon so a name colon a message uh, now I will select a uh, and now and uh, I will select the delete message when button 1 I have not renamed it you can remain uh, rename it as delete message and in that I will put a uh, in the cloud DB I will select the tag call cloud db dot clear tag means what we have typed uh, like uh, what we have typed from this uh, beginning the all the messages should be cleared so the tag I will duplicate the tag append value that one tag that's why I told that the tag you should remember the name so that in after we can put it and now I will select global chat to create an empty list means when the thing is deleted the global chat will create an empty list so that nothing is seen in the text uh, means the list view and in that I will select the list view dot elements to global chat means the chat uh, that we have typed that should get display on that and uh, what else I have left? Yes. In uh, now I will put when screen one dot initialize means when the screen one is uh, ready to be typed means the text and the message is ready to be typed. I will uh, put a uh, block named get uh, call cloud db dot get value and the tag I will select it as the same tag that is a chat. And if there is uh, no value, I will uh, not put anything because we don't have to uh, do with that and in that uh, I will put when the data is changed means we have changed our um, we have written another thing like good morning and in that the text box um, the list view should be changed means the value should be changed so when the data is changed to the cloud DB the chat will, uh, will uh, set to that the value and the list view should also be set to global chat because we have um, selected that and that's all and our ch chat app is ready thank you for watching this video and please like and subscribe to smart tech guy till the next video bye bye